Hey, this is Will from Mobile Fun, and I'm here to show you today how you can apply a screen protector without getting all those annoying air bubbles underneath it. So, let's get right to the preparation. So the first thing you'll need to do is choose the right room to actually perform the operation in. You'll want to choose somewhere that's very clean and doesn't have a lot of dust in the air. Really good thing to do can be to do this in the bathroom, because as well as it being a very clean area uh, naturally, you can just run a shower, a hot shower, for a few minutes, and this will produce so much steam that it'll uh, wipe out a lot of the dust in the air. So that can be a good top tip for doing it. Otherwise, you just want to choose a place that's relatively uh, draft-free and relatively clean. So once you've chosen your room, you'll want to wash your hands with soap and water, and then start assembling your materials. I'm going to be using a Samsung Galaxy Nexus here. You'll need the uh, screen protector pack. So inside the pack, you'll typically find the screen protector itself, You'll find an applicator cloth and an applicator card. Now, if you don't have an applicator card, then a really good substitute can be a credit card because you can use this in much the same way to smooth out bubbles. So once you've got all your materials assembled, you're ready to go. So now that we're actually ready to go, we're just going to get this in position. We're going to move this perpendicular so that the sticky side is on this side and the uh, more rigid side is closer to us. And now we're just going to pull this back just a little bit so we've got the first of the sticky area exposed and now we're just going to plant that really carefully on the end of the phone. Obviously it's going to start sticking at this point so you want to make sure that's nice and lined up properly as you actually go down. Now that you've got it down what you're going to be doing is slowly revealing more of it while pushing it down with your fingers. So we're just going to be moving along here slowly slowly as you go, just keep pushing along, keep pushing along. Don't worry too much if there are a few air bubbles at this stage. You do want to just keep it as uh, far away from the dust as you can, which is why we're kind of only revealing part to the dust in very short intervals. And keep pulling along, keep folding it down, and then we've got to the end of our device. Now, as you can see, there's still a few little air bubbles in there, so we're just going to take our applicator card we're just going to smooth those out. So we're going to push them along the device towards the end. As you can see, those are going to shift along quite nicely. So we've got the vast majority of the bubbles out now. Still a few small ones remaining. And now we're just going to peel off this layer, just the final layer. As you can see, most of those bubbles have, in fact, disappeared. If we put this on, you should be able to see. It's looking nice already. There's also this part here, we just remove that. And slowly smooth out any imperfections we can find. Actually, it's looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Okay, so there you have it. Screen protector is fully applied with no bubbles whatsoever. Alright, so this has been Will from Mobile Fun, and this is how you apply a screen protector very carefully and very gingerly.